Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Mississippi State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive linemen for that. They finally tackle him at the 38-yard line. The halfback was able to do it there with his legs. This misdirection counter threw off the defense, and once this guy got into the open field, he was off to the races. Quick throw. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Caught and he's hit immediately. Number 15 makes the tackle the 13 They'll spread the field with five wide. Almost intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Third and eight. Ball on the 14-yard line. Quick throw. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. with a six-point lead, and he tacks on the extra point. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He really got a hold of that kick. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. The Bulldogs know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Ready, green 19, green 19. 
He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And they push him out at the 32-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. From their own 32-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. over any defense. From their own 45-yard line. First down. And they got him for a loss. Lost a few yards on the play. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle at the 35-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. down 10 yards to go ball on the 13 yard line here we go and he's taken down at the 13 yard line a tight low scoring game in that first 15 minutes let's see if things open up in the second quarter Ole Miss leads 7-0 Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Fires quick. He's got another one. And he's tackled around the one-yard line. Really, there's not much more the defense could do there. They had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Right. Let's go, let's go. Right. 
taken down just outside the goal line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, Mississippi State. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he missed it. He missed the extra point. A 13-play, 81-yard drive. And they put six points on the board after missing the extra point. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. Mississippi State lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss, up a point. Tackles him hard at the 36. That makes it first and ten. Hey, we got Mike Fifth. Mike Easy. Easy. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Tackle made at the 44 yard line. They might be coming here. Shoot, shoot. Brought down at about the 45. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. The defense was playing the run all the way. They got it right. Nice work. He really got a hold of that one. The ball pops free. The offense falls on it. This would be a great time to try to capitalize on this momentum shift and take some shots downfield. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Ole Miss is up one. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. That makes it six and six. Touchdown, Mississippi. And he hits.
gets the PAT. So a seven-play, 32-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Sure, the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Here comes the pressure. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Up the middle for a nice game. Around the 48 yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Around the 40-yard line. from the 40-yard line. It's first down. And he hits him hard at the 37. Scrambling across the middle. The senior makes the catch. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. Mississippi State's going to take their first time out of the hat. Here's the eighth play of the series. Caught end zone for the touchdown. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Let's go. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Let's go. Tries 
to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. They fall him. And he can't get in, trying for the two-point conversion. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss is up two. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, second down. A great first half comes to a close. The Rebels in front by two. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. A little counter, but he goes nowhere. If you're the running back here, you've got to get up, dust yourself off, and get set for the next play. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Ready! Green 19! Green check, check! Omaha! Ah. Throws into coverage, just picked off. They'll bring him down around the 35 yard line. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. case of the quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Ole Miss with a two-point advantage. They try the right side. He fights forward to about the 33. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance. And he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he shoved out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Really nice job here by the return man and his blockers. Now the offense has to capitalize on this opportunity. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Tackle at the 31. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 31-yard line, first down. it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Quick 
throw to the tight end. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up second and goal. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Toss left, taken down behind the line. No gain on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Three down, three down. New Mike, 52. Here we go. He's on the run. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he is drilled at the eight. That's a loss of three yards. That brings us to the goal. It's up. And he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Mississippi State ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Ole Miss holds just a two-point lead. Got some open field. And he's taken down right around the 40. He's at midfield. And now the ball is loose. It's recovered. And he's tackled at the 44. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. They'll spread the field with five wide. He gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 34. Gets out to about the 31. Ole Miss is up two. Give to the tailback. Makes it out to about the 20. He 
gets out to about the 11 yard line. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. They try to get a head start there. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. From the 16-yard line, second down. outside after a nice pickup. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Tackle made around the eight-yard line. Great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Rebels in front by two. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They make the stop at the 11-yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? This is the eighth play of this drive. Ole Miss with a two-point advantage. Tosses left, intercepted. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. First down. They've got their backs against the wall. Down at the six. Makes the tackle. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. fake and looking to run and he's hit immediately on the run gets it to the tight end he ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage it's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense it can open things up for the big play so it's third down now and they're going to need about four quick strike to the back and he drops it He really got a hold of that one. Knocked out of bounds at the 39. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he's level at the 39-yard line. Ole Miss holds just a two-point lead. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 36. Here's a 
quick throw. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. That interception breathes new life into this team. Yeah, I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in a game like this. They'll line up at the 11. It's first down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the mic. Yeah. Come on. Get it right Nice run to the left there. To that quickly. And down he goes at the 34 yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. And they'll get him in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. He's scrambling. Here comes the pressure. He throws right. Incomplete pass. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Excellent open field tackle. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. This is the tenth play of this drive. Check, check. Big dog. Big dog. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Ready! Ah! Now he tries to buy some time. Caught, and he's hit immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. See the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. Ready, check, check. 230. Aaron and Atlong. Touchdown. And now they're winning this 
baseball game. They'll go for two in this situation. They don't get it. So the two-point conversion is no good. Here they try to put the ball in the air. Unfortunately, they were unable to convert. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number six. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game and who's going to come to the forefront we'll see who's got the most leadership slings it to his fullback tackle right around the 38 yard line Ole Miss is going to use their first time out of the half here it's first and ten ball on the 38 yard line Throws it to the outside. Incomplete. Almost picked off. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He makes the catch and has a first down. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. Mississippi State holds a four-point lead. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. See how the backup can do after that injury. Set, green 90, green 90. Play action. Quick pass intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 39. Big interception by this defense, and now they hand it over to their offense with a chance to seize the momentum of this game. From their own 39-yard line. First down. He rifles it. Tipped away. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. That makes it second and ten. And it all 
comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. He wants it all. Almost picked off. And so that's going to do it. The Bulldogs get the victory, 21-17. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Mississippi State comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kurt and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.